Hi, JC Dance Co. Dancers. Teacher Joel here with day two of our Corona Quarantine Daily Vlog. We'd like to thank uh, Taylor Chapman for sending in his questions in day one. And he basically asked, do we dancers think about our breath while we're dancing? And the answer is definitely Yes. Um, not only do we use it to make sure that we have enough energy in our bodies and make sure that we don't run out of breath, breath um, but we also use it to coordinate our dynamics. Now, before we get into all that technical stuff, let's just practice a few little basic um, ideas about breathing. Let's practice breathing in through our nose so that we in and out through our nose, um, also in through our mouth and out through our mouth. And let's be really specific, where in our body are we now generating breath or the, the energy for breathing? We can either breathe through our chest or through our belly. And allow yourself to put your hand either on your chest or your belly. And especially if you're used to, to breathing with your chest and you're not used to using your breath through your belly, then place your hand on your belly and feel if you can, when you inhale, the belly goes out a little bit. And when you exhale, the belly goes in a little bit. All right. Now, before we go any further with this breathing, we'd like to make sure that you don't hyperventilate while you're doing all of this breathing. Um, if you do feel a little bit dizzy or lightheaded, please sit yourself down and be safe. Um, things that you can do to catch your breath in a way is to either breathe through your hands like this and sound like Darth Vader, or you can breathe through one nostril. And that will also stem the flow of breathing a little bit and be able to get your oxygen levels a little bit more normal. Now, onto the technical stuff of today's vlog. Um, let's talk about dynamics and breathing. And very specifically, let's talk about um, five different types of dynamics that we can use in our dancing or generally use, and then five different type of breaths that we can have with those dynamics. So dynamic number one, and this is the one that we will use the most in most of our dancing, especially in dances like the waltz, the foxtrot, um, and the Viennese waltz, it is the swing. Now specifically, when we think about swing, we think about it as an acceleration, reaching a, some sort of top speed, and then a deceleration. And that's exactly what we're trying to do with our breath. So as we prepare for our swing, we would generally inhale through the nose. And then as we're about to go through step number one, we would start to exhale until we get to the, um, the, the point of the figure where we accelerate the most, which is the connection between step one and step two. And then we start to finish off our exhalation more gradual. So it kind of sounds a little bit like if I do one, two, three, then it'll be. As you can see, then we are trying to make sure that the timing of when I exhale the strongest also matches with the timing when I exert the most power. Um, let's talk about the dynamic number two, which would be an impulse. So an impulse is when there is an inf there is a, a strong force at the beginning of an action, and then it tapers off. Um, an example like this would be the V6 in our silver quick step, where the timing is quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. And at the very beginning of the figure, as you come out of, for instance, either a quarter turn to the right or a spin turn, um, we want to already accelerate into that uh, that lock action, whether you're a gentleman going backwards or a lady going forwards. And we would already prepare our breath before that and then have a strong exhalation on that quick, quick, slow, slow. Yeah, so then there's that accent at the beginning of the figure um, and also the breath at the beginning of the figure. The next one that we can talk about is impact. And this is used a lot in our tango. So for instance, if we have um, progressive link where we're trying to create a very sharp staccato action and turning into promenade position, we can have an exhalation that has a very abrupt stop. <sighs> Instead of <sighs> which would be more like an impulse. So as you're doing your progressive link and you're counting quick, 
quick on that second quick when gentlemen you're landing on your right foot and ladies you're landing on your left foot and we've turned to promenade whether you're gentleman or lady we can also stop or freeze our breath very quickly so it looks something like this or it sounds something like this if gentlemen it would be quick and then you would stop your breath or ladies quick and then you would stop your breath at the same time um, there are a few other dynamics that aren't used as often, but let's just talk about that since we're here on camera. Um, we have our sustain dynamic, and that would be a dynamic that has very continuous movement. Now, continuous movements might be something, uh, for, for instance, like a, an extended weave in our slow foxtrot, where we have numerous quicks that keep us going, and there isn't really anything changing within shaping or speed, and therefore we would have a sustaining breath, and it would kind of sound like this. I wouldn't necessarily try to um, accent anything in the middle of that extended weave. Then from there, you could, for instance, change it into a swing as you finish off the weave. Uh, last, um, we have something that mostly open level dancers will use. Um, very rarely will we use this in the syllabus um, dances, but there is also vibration. And an example of this would be what people sometimes do after a Spanish drag. They would do a Spanish drag, ta ta, and they go z -z 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 and they would have a little bit of a vibration as an accent. As a lady, they would go Wah, bum, z -z -z -z. And so we can use our breath again to help uh, create a very clear dynamic uh, with the vibration. And we'd either use a sound like I just did, zzz, which now modulates the, um, the breath, or <sighs> um, to have that same type of action. Um, as we go from the idea of dynamics to just problem solving um, ideas with breath, um, one would be, for instance, whenever we have shoulders coming up. And shoulders coming up tend to happen whenever we have rise. So one thing that we can do with breath is actually have an exhalation to counteract the shoulders coming up. So if we are looking at, for instance, your waltz and you're finishing off your natural turn, one, two, three, and you're rising and you're naturally shrug your shoulders, try to exhale at the end of that. So as you're rising, exhale. And that will also be able to keep your chest a little bit more deflated and therefore your shoulders down. Now keep in mind when you're going through your competitive or even social routines um, that breathing um, dynamically on every single figure um, would be almost virtually impossible and not really recommended. Again, for that first idea of um, hyperventilating. So one thing that people always ask about is how do we breathe in the Viennese waltz? And a very simple way of breathing would be um, breathing over two bars of music. So instead of breathing swing dynamics, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and it becoming very repetitive, um, what we can do is we can do it over two bars. So it would be, for instance, breathe in as we prepare. Then we exhale for one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then breathe again in quickly for six before we start it again. Um, and you can maintain this type of breath much more easily um, through your Viennese waltz than trying to do one, two, three, one, two, three. And therefore, you would probably get a little bit lightheaded and tax your breathing even more than the dancing is um, requiring you to do. I think that's it for now. Thank you very much again, Taylor, for um, writing in your, your question in our day one daily vlog. Um, remember, please um, send in all of your questions, and the more that you ask, the more they'll answer. All right, I have a very special guest to say a few words before we finish off this vlog. Hello, my name is Michaela, and don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button to <laughs> watch more videos. Um, <laughs> and remember to, if you have questions, ask, ask my dad, aka Teacher Joel, <laughs> in the comment section below. Bye. 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 Bye.